Today we're looking at the Skypack QR range of LED batons from JCC. Let's start with the QR aspect, QR, quick release. You watch this. Two fingers, press the two buttons here. Two fingers, press the buttons here. Our LED tray has dropped down. How easy was that? We've also got retaining straps here and here, so we don't put any stress on the actual conductors themselves. Another one, let's go for quickly inserting our conductors. Again, toolless. I've stripped my cables back, ready to go. Just watch this. Take my neutral conductor, push it in, connected. If I wanted to release it, press the button and I can release my conductor. How easy is that? Let's pop these in. Let's start off with the neutral. Goes in like so. Uh, next, our CPC. Pop that one in and follow it with our line or switching line conductor. Also, another set of connections there to carry the process onto another light fitting. All it needs now is put the tray back on and turn it on. So let's do that next. It's just as simple. That was easy. Let's peel back this. We're ready to go live. So we turned it on, we've got instant light, nicely diffused with no spotting. The range comes in from 2760 lumens, which is 23 watts, all the way up to 11,500 lumens, which is 92 watts. All of the range are 4000 degrees Kelvin. Let's have a look at the ways in which we can mount the light fitting next. So our conduit boxes are attached to the surface. We've got 600 centers. We can offer our fitting up and we can see we've got this beezer box section here already pre-drilled out for us. And we can just fix now in here and here in order to secure it to the actual conduit box itself. We've also got back entry conduit points, one at either end, as well as the ability to come in either end cap. So we've brought a 20 mil conduit into the end cap and then we just bring our wiring system in. These JCC Skypack QR fittings also come in an emergency version as well. They come in a standard three lengths, four, five, and six foot, and are ideal for replacing that traditional fluorescent baton. When we look to replace that type of baton, we're thinking about saving energy, but it's not just about saving energy, it's also about managing it. We can control these fittings using DALI, one to 10 volts, or in this case, using microwave dimmable. Let's look at that next. So this section here makes this fit in microwave dimmable. So this part here picks up movement in the area as well as ambient light levels. Let's take this cover off and see what's going on inside it. So these piano switches here, well they're not actually piano switches, they're dip switches, allow you to set the parameters of the sensor. So as you walk into the area, the light fitting will come on and they'll remain on while you're in the area. When you've left the area, you can set the amount of time before it drops the light level down and the level of that light, as well as the time before it turns itself off. You can also set the parameters of the photo cell, preventing the light fitting coming on in high levels of natural light. I like this microwave dimmable version, ideally suited for areas such as plant rooms and store areas. You walk into the area, the light fitting comes on, you leave, the light levels drop, and then turn off, preventing you leaving those light fittings on for long periods of time. The fittings themselves all come with a two year warranty. However, if you register your product, that warranty is extended to five years. They're all high efficiency with a wide range of lumen outputs. They have some great control features, which are benefits to the actual customer themselves. We've seen lots of key features that make it easier to install for the electrician. And you know, we like those sort of things at eFix. JCC, always love to hear your feedback. So please make sure you comment below.